Welcome to Quick 3D Tutorials. In this video, we're going to show you how to customize UI and interface inside ZBrush. The first thing we have is the canvas size. So as you can see, the size is small. But in this case, if you want to have the custom size, you can of course type this in and check the pro off to have the exactly width and height. But uh, I want it to be full screen, so I need to click on W size to be turned on and new document, do not save it. So as you can see now, I have full screen of the canvas. We have another option. We can save it as a startup document. So anytime I start up the ZBrush by default is going to be started. The next things we have is the shelf. Double click on these, I can show and hide these shelf. And we have also in the bottom. Next is the menu. So we have the alpha menu. If I want to move it over other area, I need to just drag it from this circle and drag it over here. And click on this to removing it. Once again, holding it from the circle and drag it and move it back to the position. The other way to dogging something is holding the ALT key and click. Uh, holding the ALT key and click on the material over the name. So as you can see we have dogging it. Holding ALT key and click once again is going to dog it to be removed. That is another shortcut to do this. Inside ZBrush we can also create custom button and slider and also menu. So to do this, we're going to the preferences, make sure inside the config, we have enabled the customization. Otherwise we cannot do this. So basically everything over here can be moved and modified. So let's say I want to have this tool to be over here. The thing I need to do, holding control all same time and drag it wherever I want it. To remove it, control Alt once again and moving it to the canvas. I can now move the other things also. So control Alt and I can drag this over this area and control Alt back, control Alt, control Alt and just dragging it back to the position. So now we want to creating basically a UI uh, or excuse me a menu over here. To do this, we're going to the preferences, make sure this one is enabled. We're going to something called the custom UI and just docking it over this area. So from here, we can create new menu. So we're going to make it like uh, we name it new. So here you can see we have a new menu, which is uh, name it new. So once again, I'm going to create it new. So as you can see, we have the new over here. So we can just docking it over to the site over here. And now we can basically put any pattern we want the same method, holding uh, control and alt. Let's see, we want to have the move tool inside it. So you can just putting it over here and you can have, let's see the scale also and so on. And we have some of orange uh, placement that is just to creating a custom design. So control alt, you can just dragging it over here and drag another one over here. So now we have just uh, creating the basic, um, basically we have creating a new menu called new and uh, we have it over here. If you want to rename your menu, simply click on it and holding the Ctrl Alt and click on this circle. And now you can give a new name. And click on the Enter. So now we having it. But if you want to remove this menu, the only way is basically close the ZBrush and do not save this. That is the only way to remove this menu. So now we want to talking about hotkey, how we can create hotkey, deleting the hotkey and all these stuff. So to do this is basically 
The first thing is we need to go to the preferences and make sure the enable customization is turned off. So when it is turned off, let's see this cylinder, I want to adding a custom hotkey to it. The thing I need to do, uh, basically you need to uh, looking over this area with the text information about the hotkey. So the thing I need to do is uh, holding Control, Alt and click on this cylinder. So now without I moving my mouse do anything, I can just uh, create my hotkey. So let's see uh, Alt L. So anytime I press Alt L, I have the cylinder as you can see. So if I just uh, hover the mouse over this, you can see over the over the this area we have display the alt plus l is my hotkey to remove this hotkey the thing i need to do is holding ctrl alt and click on it and click on the delete on my keyboard so when i hover this you can see we don't have any uh, hotkey so that is a way to creating hotkey inside the zbrush but before this you need to also remember to save your hotkey so you have something called restore of course and you need to save it so you can also make it a store to start up by these hotkey you have created the other thing we want to talking about the color inside it so over here we have an option to just click on this to change a different color of the zbrush and we have another option over here to changing the layout of the ZBrush. Just go back. Back to the default. So how we can change, let's see, the orange color of these. To do this, we need to go to the preferences, go to the eye color. And from here, we have the color. Basically, you need to click on it and just drag as you dragging is going to pick up the color. So if I want it to be red, so I can just putting it on the red. But we need basically uh, change this one also to red. So I need to click on it and now you can see I can make it red or blue or whatever. So that is uh, over here you can just playing by the different color you have title, title 2, menu and so on. The other thing is basically if I just zoom the canvas out you can change the document uh, background color. To do this go to the document the same thing the black uh, the back you need to selecting it and over this you can make it red, blue lighter blue or anything of this so you can see now we have the blue background but they are kind of shadow over the top you can playing by the range to make it if you want to have this effect or you don't want to have this effect so that was just the basic about the color information uh, customization inside zbrush so now we want to change the size of the pattern if you want it to be bigger or smaller Go to the preferences, go into the interface, UI, and over here you have pattern size. You can slide it to be bigger and smaller. But remember, if you done this, you need to restart your ZBrush, otherwise, otherwise it will not take effect. So the last thing is how I can basically save this information I have creating. So to do this over the preferences, you have the config. If you have enabled the customization, make sure you don't enable it. And from here, you can save your UI. So next time you want to load it, you can of course use the load UI. But uh, there are also another option. You can store the information you have creating. The next time you're going to start the ZBrush by default, everything is going to be safe. If I just click over this, is going to save it every time you're starting the ZBrush. So now we want basically show you how to come back to the default uh, UI of the ZBrush. So you're going to the preferences uh, over here, go to the config and say uh, restore uh, the standard UI. 
so now you can see we have the uh, orange one for the key uh, for the hotkey you need also do the same thing go to the hotkey restore if you cannot see the restore that means you have not editing the hotkey and the last thing is go over the preferences and click on this one and click yes and it will restart everything inside ZBrush to the default one. So that is a way to creating a custom UI with the ZBrush and you can also uh, come back to the default one if you like to. And thank for watching.